Welcome to Rotor Riot. Today, we're doing long range. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the safe and the legal way with spotters and keeping communication lines open. And just to help us really push our limits, we got one of Daniel's toys from X Hover. That's Yo. right, we have the Batmobile <laughs> in the desert to chase with mini claws. What is this thing? It's What's the up? Tumbler. Hey, how's it going guys? Daniel Sandoval here, owner of X-Hover. And when I'm not designing FPV frames, you'll see me out in the desert with this. This is one of my other favorite hobbies to do. This is a Can-Am XRS, has 172 horsepower turbo, big old 35 inch tires, tons of travel, which means you can go through anything at over 80 miles per hour. And today we're gonna take it out to the desert, see if the Rotor Riot guys can keep up with it. So let's go have some fun. <laughs> I gotta go to the top of the hill because I'm the long range guy. Me and Justin are gonna hop in this deathmobile. <laughs> We're gonna get on the phone with Bot Grinder, uh, who's gonna be in the buggy. Him and Jeff are gonna be our spotter. What our goal is for today is to take our mini quad, fly it in one direction as far out as the one battery can possibly take it, land, have our crew replace the battery, plug it back in, set it up, take off, and fly that same mini quad back to us. We wanted to see where that point was and what it takes to actually accomplish that in a legal and safe manner. We have to comply with all of the requirements of part 107 and one of those requirements is that we operate with visual line of sight of the craft. We can't do that with the two of us sitting on top of the hill. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use Daniel's dune buggy death machine to go at top speed with the mini quad. I'm gonna have bot grinder in the Can-Am maintaining communications with me so that he can be my visual observer that is maintaining line of sight. Let's talk about the requirements for that visual observer. The remote pilot in command and the visual observer must maintain effective communication with each other at all times. I'm using a Bluetooth speaker that's kind of hung up in the bushes next to me so that I can talk to him. We have positive communications. He's on the phone call on a Bluetooth headset so that we can talk back and forth. And if there's any hazards, like an aircraft that we run into, uh, another car that I need to avoid, he can alert me to those hazards. B, me as the pilot in command, it's my duty to stay close enough to the Can-Am so that Bot Grinder can maintain that visual line of sight for the entire flight. C, me flying FPV, I'm gonna be using that video feed in order to scan our airspace uh, for any potential collision hazards, meaning cactus, trees, and Bot Grinder is gonna let me know about any upcoming hazards. As far as our safety protocol, we've established that if for some reason the phone call gets dropped or he says, hey, I can't hear you anymore, that my job is to now land the, uh, the drone by the road so that they can recover it. Now, if they lose visual line of sight, I'm gonna bring it back close to the road and land it immediately. And then they're gonna have to search the road to find it. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's get back to the fun stuff and go do some flying. How's that sound? That's pretty good. All right. Uh, I will maintain visual line of sight per FAA regulations. I'm coming down the hill for you now. Okay. Can you still hear me, DJ? Gotcha. You got your red rider. I got you. I'm so good. Keep going. I split the I split the antennas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to set it down. Are you guys ready? Never ready. Set her down. 
All right. All right. Wow. No video, no control link. As soon as I touched down, I lost everything. All right, we'll try to get you a little higher up, maybe. We'll put them on the roof and Yeah, that probably if you just set it on the roof of the car, it'll be fine. <laughs> That was sweet. I just see dust rising in the sunset. Yeah. We're gonna jump in the car real quick and then I'll let you know once we're buckled in and we can start. Stinky, do you want us to turn around before uh, we take off towards still the place? Facing away right now? Yeah, still facing away. That's all I need to know. Uh, I'll take off and then y'all can turn around. You ready? Oh. All, right. all right, you're in the air. Going back? Yeah. up with this thing yeah we we're hauling ass like i was full throttle like just riding in the dust of it like I, that's all i got <laughs> that was like all right this is what a mini quad can do full out like that was cruising mostly out there on the way back it was all i could give it, it probably going into the wind yeah, yeah. The phone call worked out really well. Really I can't, well. Dude, I can't believe that <laughs> the, the that unplug was and the replug worked. I I want to look it, it up on a map and see how far <laughs> we went. Because as soon as I touched down, it was like telemetry lost, Everything. fail safe, no <laughs> video, just gone. As expected. Thank you everybody that watched this episode. If you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't, press the like button too. And you can check out Quad Camp online. We got upcoming dates. Yeah, we are out here for the Quad Camp hosted by X Hover. Gracious host had a great event this weekend. And now we're just out here the desert playing. to check out quadcamp.com because we are going to be at race day quads in orlando florida tickets are available you can get two day pass or one day pass both available at quadcamp.com we'll see you guys there a couple times a week i do a part 107 uh test prep stream my man does trick breakdowns i do like <laughs> i do flips what else All do right. we do? Uh, we're done. That's what we do. Cool. And it got silent. And and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs>